Fake TVs are nice, but they're very heavy and can realistically only be enjoyed in one location. However, with two micro OLED displays in your glasses, you can convincingly simulate a big screen experience. So is augmented reality the future of how we enjoy entertainment and even work? Xero sent their AR glasses called Air and this companion device called Beam and sponsored this video so that I can experience AR for the very first time and share my thoughts on this emerging tech with you guys. All right, so these are the Xero Air glasses and they pretty much just look like regular sunglasses, but just with these extra lens on the inside. And they might look a bit thicker than regular glasses, but overall they're very slim and they're pretty light too at just 79 grams. These glasses are compatible with many devices, including computers, phones, tablets, game consoles, and there are two 1080p micro OLED displays in this thing. So after putting them on and connecting to a device, I have this really big screen projected in front of me and it's a good distance away it covers 46 degrees field of view. And here's what I think is the best way to visualize how big the screen is. So I have lined up the image inside of my extra glasses to my 65 inch TV. I'm about seven feet away. And the virtual display inside my glasses feels as far away from my eyes as a TV might even be a little bit farther. But yeah, normally I wouldn't sit any closer to the TV than this distance. So I would say the extra air gives a pretty satisfying viewing experience. And it's also surprisingly bright. It can go up to 400 nits and you can adjust the brightness with these buttons on the glasses. When I'm indoors, I feel like this brightness is more than bright enough. I usually don't even use the max brightness and I can see everything on my virtual display perfectly fine. But when you're outdoors or just in a very bright place, you can attach these shades, which do come with the glasses and you'll still be able to see everything on your display. All right, so by default, the air glasses give you a display that stays right in front of your eyes. So whenever you turn or tilt your head, the screen does turn and tilt with you. And honestly, I find that the display tilting with my head feels quite strange. But with this companion device, the x Beam, I can fix the screen to a specific location in my virtual space. So when I move around, the screen doesn't move with me. And I feel like this really helps make the AR experience feel more natural. The Beam gives you three degrees of freedom, which means you can turn your head left and right, up and down, and also tilt your head. But the display will remain in the same spot in your virtual space. So just like how a regular TV would. But unlike a TV, when you walk forward, and backwards, the display will stay roughly the same distance in front of you, which allows for some pretty cool use cases. The other day I was doing my laundry while wearing these glasses and I could still see my laundry perfectly fine, but I could also keep watching some videos on my virtual display while walking around my apartment. So this could help make doing chores less boring. And the Beam does give you a few different display modes to choose from. So there's the body anchor mode, which is when the screen is fixed in your virtual space. But if you ever want the screen to always be directly in front of you, you can change to the smooth follow mode. But there's actually also a third mode called side view where the screen will minimize to a corner. So this is kind of like picture in picture. You can quickly change modes by pressing the orange button. And if you long press it, you'll be able to quickly bring the screen directly in front of you. And the air glasses do have built-in speakers. And I was pretty surprised by how good they sound. Also, because they're so close to your ear, they don't have to be at a super loud volume for you to hear it. So people next to you won't be able to hear much at all. And you can also adjust the volume directly from the beam. Another thing that these air glasses allow you to do is to work while sitting very lean back. In this position, my head is facing up almost towards the ceiling. And of course, it's hard to mount a monitor at that location. But with these glasses, I can just type away while basically laying down. It provides a super relaxed working posture and it's nice to do every once in a while. And when you're just relaxing, laying in your bed or on your couch, you can still have this really big screen right in front of you. And that could be really nice for watching movies and shows. But another benefit of the Beam is that it allows you to connect the AR glasses to other devices wirelessly, which is nice since you'll be able to move more freely with them on. You can do AirPlay with Apple devices and Miracast with Windows and Android devices, but you can still do wire connections with things like a Nintendo Switch or an Xbox. I love connecting these glasses to my Switch and playing games. It feels very immersive because it's on a huge screen. And if you're on an airplane or a train, you can still have this big screen for working, which can be really nice. But another benefit is that it also provides really great privacy. I can turn off my computer screen so no one else can possibly see anything. And even if someone is directly in front of me, they'll only be able to see a tiny little screen on the glasses, but it's still basically impossible to make out anything on there. And the x -Real Air are also very adjustable. You can adjust the angle of the glasses and they also come with three different nose pad sizes 
and also a prescription lens if you do need that. And you also get a nice little case to put everything in. And the beam is portable and lightweight at 153 grams. It has a 4,870 milliamp hour battery and it supports up to 27 watt fast charge. But this thing can also be used while you're charging it so you'll always be able to use it. All right, so overall, I really enjoyed my experience with these AR glasses. I think they can be a great companion device, especially for when you're commuting or traveling, like if you're on a plane, instead of having to use the little screen on the seat back or having to hold your phone up or bend your neck down to watch a video or do work, you can just plug this thing in and lean back and enjoy your content or do your work. And of course, when you're doing boring tasks like chores, these can make the experience much better. So yeah, I think there are many situations where these can be very useful. The x -Real Air retails for $379 and the x -Real Beam retails for $119. And you can get both of these in a bundle for $488. I'll have both of these linked down below, so be sure to check them out if you're interested in AR. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe, and you can also follow me on TikTok, and you can watch more here.